Well, now that the Virginia transportation bill has been signed, every county has a wish list of projects it would like to see get done. But as always, that costs money and takes a lot of time. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Jeff Goldberg joins us with what projects could be in the works now. Jeff. Well, Allison, of the $4 billion approved under the new transportation bill, $1.5 billion is coming right here to Northern Virginia. And it's not all for roads and bridges like here in the city of Alexandria. The city requesting $2 million for an environmental study of Potomac Yard for future growth. And when it comes, on, comes to how to spend all of that money, everyone has a wish list. In Fairfax County, a big wish on that list is for $20 million to fix the interchange design at the Franconia South Van Dorn area off 95. Anything they could do to help would be an improvement. Debbie Hart commutes through the area every day and looks forward to the day when the drive makes a little more sense. The lanes are difficult and people are always swerving around because they see the entrance to 95 and it gets confusing. Transit fixes are also in demand in Fairfax, as in other places, including a $9 million request to extend the platform at the VRE station in Lorton. Fairfax also wants to widen Route 28 from the Dulles Toll Road all the way to Prince William County, where Prince William would like the widening to continue in their area. It needs to be widened, absolutely. Catherine Baker is all for the project, so long as the hassle of construction delivers results. It would have to make a tremendous difference. I mean, look how wide it is now, and it's bumper to bumper, and all, all the lanes. To the east in Prince William, the county wants to widen the very busy stretch of Route 1 near Occoquan. And north to Arlington, where the county wants $12 million for street improvements on Columbia Pike. I think we need to improve Columbia Pike and make it look better. I mean, it's, it's definitely a growth area. It's not like it's trashy out there in the first place, so I don't know what more improvement can you do. Now, of course, there are more requests than there is money, so not all of the projects will be approved. But the Northern Virginia Transportation Alliance, or NVTA, has already started taking a look at a big list of those requests, and they're expected to approve their first round of projects next month. Live in Alexandria, Jeff Goldberg, ABC 7 News.